Good evening. Hi, everybody. Jana Bretz. Yes, Captain. Okay, who told you about this? I have my own sources. As it happens, the victim was rather famous around here. In fact, I was listening to one of her lectures this very afternoon. What was she into, anyhow, huh? She was a, a kind of magician. She could read people's thoughts. <laughs> read people's thoughts, eh? You. I bet you're the eyewitness. The man who saw the whole thing. Febroni. Get me Gotzi in here. I want to check something with him. Then go see what's happened to the coroner. Right, Captain. Be independent, so oh, she don't start with me about all that woman stuff. It is a fundamental fact. Men are different from women. Women are weaker. Well, they're gentler. They're what? Weaker? Yeah. Gentler? Tarzan, why don't you try me? What's that? Indian wrestling. Come on. <laughs> then we'll see who's the weaker. Oh, don't be ridiculous. You backing out? Ha! <laughs> but uh, that was a total cheat. You caught me completely off guard. I mean, if you're, if you're going to play the game, you might at least stick to the rules. Mm-hmm. You too. I mean, if you're going to do it, you might just as well do it properly. I mean, do it. Do you want to do it? Do you want to do it properly without actually yeah. cheating? All right. Are you sure? Yeah. All right. Both elbows on the table directly straight, okay? Absolutely on I the know table. The rules. And don't start till I say ready. Okay. One, two, three. Go! <clears throat> That was an absolute elbow off the table. That is a total and absolute cheat. A total cheat. Why, it's just... All right, all right. But bloody ridiculous. You're a... You are a big, strong male. I give up. So what do you say we go now? Go where? We are not going anywhere. If anyone is going anywhere, I am going by myself. Oh, yeah. Where? I'm going to see a friend, that's where. I have things to do, you know. I can't stand around here all day playing stupid, bloody games. But listen, don't be angry now. <sighs> I can go with you, can't I? No. But listen, we decided to work together, no? No. It seems that there are some things which you just cannot do seriously with liberated women. So, I am going on my own. Listen. Have it your own way, stupid. I'll carry out my own investigation, and we'll see who comes out on top. Hmm? Who are you, and what do you want? I have to speak to Count Humboldt. Out. No, please, I beg of you. It's a matter of life and death. What's going on? Come here, girl. I'm Helen Rochefort. Please, sir, you've got to listen to what I have to say. Calm yourself, my dear. I have little time, but I will listen to you. Advise my son and Van Klager. They must wait for me. The 
woman for whom you are begging mercy is a witch. She killed my brother, Franz. She is not a witch. None of it's true. Listen, I tell you, I can prove who killed your brother. It is someone living under your own roof, someone you are now protecting. She is innocent, I tell you. You've got to help me save her. I'll do anything you ask. All I need is time to get the evidence. It's very easy. Here, solve it. What are you stopping for? You are off to a good start. What did you want to do? Think a minute first. Look, 9x plus the square root of 3k. It's so obvious. Get out of the way. What did you scribble here? What is this? Let's do it together. Read what's written here. What did I write here? I mean, you can read at least, can't you? Well? Oh, keep still, silly nonsense. 9x plus the square root of 3k. There's your answer. It gives you 1x equal to 140, and 2x equal to 3 fifths, minus, of course, this total here. Is that clear now? What have you done? What happened? Have you gone mad or something? Cut the floor! <laughs> Call the principal! Call the principal! Listen, Ducky, you have too many problems. I'll give you the number. Neil's had you in his bed for a year. Don't you think that's enough to pay for his sorrow? You bitch, you always gotta be so tough. <laughs> I feel for you, hon. But that's the way the world goes. What's so weird about that? I hate cold undies. Werewolves. Myths, legends, and scientific realities. Just what exactly are the scientific realities? There's a disease, a heart disease, that transforms the patient into some kind of madman. A beast that goes howling at the moon like a wolf. What? That's crazy. That thing we saw out there, was an animal of some kind, not a man. Listen, werewolves do exist. Oh, bullshit, Vince. The year 2000 is just around the corner. I am a recognized expert in electronic videos, and you are the hottest rock and roll star in the world. You're making records, videos, movies on high-tech electronic equipment of fantastic sophistication. You can get on a plane tonight and be in Australia tomorrow. And you're scared of werewolves. 20 years ago, something terrible happened here. And it's happening again. The people went crazy. They needed a scapegoat, so they accused my father. Oh. Your father? Yes, my father. Oh, my God. The neighbors were convinced that he was the cause of all the atrocities. They doused him with gasoline and set him on fire. Oh, Vince, forgive me. How was I to know? But you must try to understand that this has nothing to do with werewolves. Just a pack of ordinary stray dogs. You sure are something. You know that, Sandra? Do you know something, Vince? As soon as we deliver this video job, we're heading straight for Morea. One of 130 Polynesian islands. Floating in crystal clear water. Two weeks of nude sunbathing, coconut drinks, and making love. I love you, Vince. I can't stand seeing you like this. Go to bed now. I'll be up in a minute. Okay. Don't be long. I won't.
So what do you say, Jim? Not bad, huh? Not bad. It stinks. Next one we do has got to have more punch. <laughs>